Hi everyone, hope everyone's well, hope everyone's good. Um, I just wanted to show you something that I do when my energy is feeling a bit low, which is actually happening to me today. Feeling really tired, uh, being busy, busy, having fun, working hard. Um, and yes, I eat healthy, very healthy, but sometimes we get tired and we need that little boost. And um, those times I normally reach for a green smoothie. I don't drink smoothies all the time, but I um, have them from time to time when I need that boost. I definitely swear by this smoothie because it works every time that I use it um, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone that wants to have a little boost um, and get that bit more energy so for instance going to the gym or when you leave the gym or just on a daily basis when you feel that you need that pickup. Um, I typically use the same ingredients when I make my green smoothies because I feel that they work for me. So I normally use my banana, which I use as frozen, which I think works better than just a normal banana out of the skin. I use spinach because that's good for my iron levels. And then as my boosters, I will use some maca powder, which is a Peruvian root, um, which is good for balancing the hormones. So bringing them up if they need bringing up or bringing them back down if they need bringing back down. Um, I use Keiko powder, which is good for flavour and it's very low in fat. And I use some cold milled flaxseed, which is very high in fibre um, and omega-3. And it is a good thing to add in for some texture in the smoothie if you wanted it a bit chunkier. Um, and those are things that I use in there. And I add things like cinnamon just for a bit of flavour and cinnamon's amazing. So... Those are the things that I use in my smoothie. So as you can see, I have my banana, which is already in the jug. Um, it was already pre-chopped and frozen and put in a bag. Um, I've also got my jar, which I use to drink out of. Um, and I typically use jars when I'm drinking my smoothies. Um, so I'm just going to start making the smoothie now. So I'm just going to add in my almond milk into the frozen banana. This will help it soften up and kind of make it more liquefied. Um, excuse the old blender, it is a bit old school, but hey ho, we've got to use what we've got. So I'm actually going to add some water in as well, so I don't have to use any more almond milk, because I usually would just use water, but I've wanted to use some almond milk this time. So I'm going to whiz that up, make sure it's nice and smooth. Then I'll just give it a little bit of a mix with a spoon, um, just to kind of mix around and see if there are any large chunks in there. Um, then I'm going to add the spinach and um, this will help the mixture blend more easily um, as there is a lot of water in the spinach so I'm just going to blend that up as you see it coming together starting to turn green looking all nice and lovely <laughs> so I'm just going to add a bit more spinach just for a little bit more of a boost um, you can never add too much to the good stuff so um, I've added the spinach and I'm just going to make sure it's all mixed up and then I'm going to add in my boosters. So I'm going to add in the lovely spirulina, she's up first, looking all green and lovely. Um, as you can see it's quite dark and it is very, um, yeah, it's not the best <laughs> looking or the best smelling but it's very very good and very high in iron. Um, so I'm just adding about half a teaspoon of that. Then after that I'm going to add in the maca powder. Um, I'm going to add a teaspoon of this. This has a multi taste to it so it can be quite pleasant. It depends what you like. Um, and then I'm going to add in the cold milled flaxseed. This will just add a bit of texture to it and like I said it was high in fibre. Adding some cinnamon in there for flavour as well. And last of all, I'm going to add my raw cocoa powder, and this will give it a bit of a chocolatey taste. If you want a bit more um, of a stronger taste, you can add more cocoa, but I just decided to stick with a teaspoon of it. So I'm just whizzing that up, making sure it's all blended. Um, and if you want, you can add a teaspoon of sweetener. I don't always do this, but sometimes the spirulina can taste a bit strong. So I've just added a bit of... Um, agave nectar in there and that just kind of adds it adds a bit more flavor and brings it together a bit so once that's all whizzed up i'm just going to pour it into my jar that i have lovely waiting for me 
and I'm just going to pour it in there and I'm just going to pop a straw in there and I'm going to guzzle it down and that's it basically and that's just how you make a green smoothie. Hope you try it out and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.